Hello. Okay, thank you. Okay, last week, uh, chapter 4a, uh, chapter 5, uh, chapter 5, the no, practice problem number one. Question A draw a network diagram using activity uh, designation and immediate uh, predecessor using a uh, node and arrow we can draw network diagram so first activity a uh, doesn't have immediate predecessor so starting point So node A and then uh, activity time is six. B and C from A. The activity time is four. C activity time seven. And arrow. And then uh, D from C. D two. And E from B and D. Four. B and D. And then F from D. Three and G from E and F seven like this. Then uh, let's uh, figure out uh, early start, early finish time. Zero plus six, so six start, six start, plus four, ten, plus seven, uh, thirteen, thirteen, and then uh, two, fifteen. So 10 and 15, activity E after B and D. So even uh, B finishing uh, at 10, still uh, this uh, activity D work. So after finish D, E can start 15 and 19. Then here, uh, 15 and 18. Then G also after E and F. So F finish at 18, but uh, E work until 19. So G can start 19 and then finish 26, 19. Okay, so far, any question? And then uh, late start, late finish time backward from here, 26, 19. So this one, 19, 
uh, minus 3, 16. Go this way, 19 and 15. Okay, 15 and 16 for D. So only one, 15 and 13. This one also, 15 and uh, 6, uh, 4, uh, 11. And this one, 13, 6. 11 and 6, only 1, 6, and 0. Okay, how many possible passes are there in this project? 1 here. One, another 1 here. And last one here. So possible passes are A, B, E, G. And the next one, A, C, D, E, G. The last one, A, C, D, F, G. And then add all activity time, six plus four plus four plus seven, 10, 21. Next one, six, seven, two, four, seven, six, plus seven, plus two, plus four, plus seven, equals um, 26. And last one, six, seven, two, three, seven. Ten, nineteen, twenty-five. So longest this one. So this pass is critical pass. So which pass is the critical pass? A, C, D, E, G. And score some more. How many weeks of Slack does activity B and C? Activity B, Slack, uh, B here, 11 minus six or 15 minus 10 equals C here, six minus six or 13 minus 13 equals zero. So this one, activity B has positive slack. So this one, non-critical, 
activity because it has a no slack. So up to five weeks can be delayed without uh, project, entire project delay. C, no slack. So this one is activity C, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. They are critical activities. So uh, from uh, the critical pass, this is critical pass. So all activities on critical path are critical activities. That means all activities, they don't have a slack or are critical activities. This one, this one non-critical because uh, there are, uh, they have uh, positive slack. So non-critical activity, non-critical activity. So on the path, one or more non-critical activity or activities on the path, non-critical path. Okay. Question? I, I'm just still a bit confused about how we find the early start, early finish, and late start and late finish times. Mm. A little bit fuzzy about that. Don't worry about uh, this uh, early start, early finish, uh, late start, late finish. Just that I showed, showed you how to find, but uh, not in a uh, quiz or a uh, midterm. Oh, okay. Uh, nowadays, uh, in real world, uh, for the project management and uh, drawing uh, network diagram and then uh, finding a critical path and so on, uh, using uh, software. So I just show you on uh, how uh, we can determine that uh, early start, early finish, and late start, late finish. But uh, this one is not in the quiz. Instead, uh, I will tell uh, uh, that this one again, but that, uh, uh, you should determine which critical pass on this uh, whatever uh, project, using this uh, method, find possible passes, and then add all activity times, and then longest is in a critical pass. So when you determine, when you determine uh, which pass is critical pass, using this method, okay? So figure out uh, possible passes and then add all activity times. And then uh, among them, longest is critical pass. Okay. Okay. Can I uh, erase? Okay, next one, critical path method with three activity time estimate. Uh, only one single activity time. So activity time is certain, then we don't need uh, further uh, action or uh, whatever. But uh, in real world, 
uh, time is the uh, looks like single single uh, certain time, but sometimes it delayed. Sometimes uh, uh, it can be uh, uh, finish early like that. You know this class. Usually, I try to uh, finish uh, like in an hour, sixty minutes. But sometimes, you know, when you take a quiz or something, then uh, it uh, take longer. Uh, sometimes in the, the finish early like that. So there are three times: early finish time, and uh, mostly mostly likely time, and then kind of delay uh, late time. So there are three activity times. So if we have uncertain activity time, then we use this three activity time as to make critical path method. Because time, activity time is not certain, we can get something information, uh, probability information not certain uh, information. So using this three activity time estimate critical paths, we can get probability information, how long it take. Okay, here, three activity times, A, M, B, A is optimistic time, M is most likely time, B is pessimistic time, kind of early, uh, most likely, and then like in the, uh, late. So we have, if we have three activity times like this, and then the same as in a single activity time, activity, designation, an immediate predecessor. Using this formula, expected time equals A, optimistic time, four times most likely time, and then B, pessimistic time. You know, optimistic time and uh, pessimistic time, not much. This one, more frequency, most likely. So give four, like a, you know, a, a weight. Give this one one, four, one. So one plus four plus one equals six. So divide by six. This is kind of weighted average. So using this, formula, we can get expected time for each activity here. I will uh, show you how to get expected time. For this one, Expected time for activity A equals A is 10 plus four times M 22 plus B 28 divided by six, that will be 21, and then for this one, uh, expected time activity B equals three plus four times four plus five divided by six, that will be four. So using the formula A plus four times M plus B divided by six, we can get 
expected activity time like this. Now, it looks like the same as single activity time information. So using this expected time, we can draw network diagram, and then we can find early start, early finish, lay start, lay finish. And then we can determine critical path and then select two. Okay. So using activity designation and uh, immediate predecessor, we can draw network diagram like this. And then select and so on. Now to determine which path is critical path. Earlier I uh, told you briefly, figure out uh, the possible passes. So possible passes, one here, the other one here, another one here, and then the last one here. So possible pass is A, B, D, E, Z. And next possible pass is this one. So A, B, D, F, G. And the last one, A, C, F, G. So activity times 21 plus four plus two plus five plus two. That is 25, 20, uh, 32, 34 equals 34. And then A, B, D, F, G, 21 plus four plus two plus F is eight plus two equals 37. And then the last one, 21, plus seven plus eight plus two equals 38. So among them, this one is longest ACFG. So critical path is ACFG, this path. And then total project time is the same as the length of duration of critical path, 38. Okay, so far, do you have a uh, question? Okay, next. We may ask like this, the probability of completing the project in 35 weeks. You know, uh, activity time is not certain, uncertain from uh, three activity times. And then uh, the uh, looks like a single time expected time, not certain. So, we can ask like this, 35 weeks. The expected duration of a project is 38. 
the duration of the project or duration of the uh, critical pass, 38. And then uh, 35, left side of 38, 35 here. And then this one ask the project finish in 35. So area under this uh, distribution, this area. So we need this boundary in Z score. So G score equals D minus T E. D is desired completion date. And then T E is expected completion time. So project duration. So D, uppercase D is desired completion time, 35. And then T E, project duration, 38. And then divide by square root of sum of variance on critical paths. Sum of the variance is along the critical path. So we need this variance. Variance using this formula, we can get variance equals sigma square equals B minus A. B is pessimistic time minus A optimistic time divided by six and then square. So for uh, each activity, this one from variance activity A equals B uh, 28, B is 28 minus a 10 divided by six square equals like 18 over six square equals three square equals nine. So nine and next one variance for activity B equals B is five a is three divided by six and square equals two over six square equals one over three square equals point one 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 like this. So after we get Variance is for each activity. And then critical pass for this project is ACFG. So add only variances on critical pass, ACFG. 9 plus 2.78 plus 0.11 plus 0. Okay, next uh, calculation. So the probability of completing the project in 35 weeks, Z equals D minus TE, D is desired completion time, 35 asking time minus expected time duration divided by square root of 
some of variances on critical paths. You know, when a student take quiz, some student made a mistake. Add all variances, not all of them, just on critical path. So 35 minus 38 is negative three divided by nine plus 2.78 plus 0.11 plus zero equals 11.89. Take a square root 3.45. So it is negative 0.869. I think you took uh, mass 155. That is uh, statistics. So I expect you familiar with the normal distribution. This is kind of a uh, mean for this uh, project 38. On this uh, mean, G score is zero. And then left, G score is ne negative. And then right, G score is positive. So if it is uh, 35, left side of the mean, so Z score should be negative. So negative 0.869. So approximately 0.87, negative 0.87. This is not uh, probably yet. That is Z score, the boundary here. And then uh, we need this area. From normal distribution chart, this one. This chart is in your lecture note. Lecture note is on Moodle. When you uh, when student uh, last semester and then uh, earlier semester and, uh, student asked me uh, when uh, they took a quiz and uh, midterm and final, where can I find the chart? I said uh, many times, whatever chart you need in your lecture note in the chapter. So when you take a quiz and midterm and final, uh, prepare the chart, okay? So 0.87, negative 0.87, try to find 0.87, negative 0.87, but we cannot find exact 0.87. Uh, negative 0.87 is between negative 0.85 and between, so point, negative point nine, zero, negative point eight five, in between point eight six, point eight seven, point eight eight, point eight nine, negative, 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 point eight seven, is closer to 
So take point A5, then the area You know, uh, this chart and then that uh, GZ area probability shows always left side from uh, wherever uh, G score. So 0 0.19766. So associate with the Z score, negative 0 0.87, the probability of completing the project in 35 weeks is 19.766% from the chart. Okay, question. Okay, next one. We may ask the probability of completing the project longer than 40 weeks, longer than 40 weeks, earlier one in or shorter than 35, next one longer than. So if I draw the area, on normal distribution looks like this. Thirty-eight here, and then forty here, and longer than. Anyway, we need z score on forty weeks boundary. Z equals the desired completion time forty minus thirty-eight. Kind of um, mean expected time divided by square root of sum of variances on only on critical paths equals two divided by 11.8789 uh, square root that is two divided by 30.45 this is Z score here. From a uh, mean, Y side is positive. This is right. So try to find 0.58 on the chart. 0.58 is not in there. We cannot find, but between 0.6 and 0.55. 0.58 is closer to 0.6. So take 0.6 and then area is 0 0.725. 725.75. 725.75. This one, even this one from the chart, earlier I told you the area or probability, the chart is given is left side from the boundary. So this one is this area. But question ask longer than from this boundary right side, total is one, one minus left side is right side. So longer than 40 weeks is one minus total area minus left side because 
the chart gives us only left side. So one minus left side, but uh, right side, uh, this one is the right side. So right side is 0.27425. So the probability of completing the project longer than 40 weeks is 27.425. Mm, percent. Question. Okay, that. Next one is time cost models. So far, we uh, have only uh, uh, time, time information, but if we have time and cost information for the project, we can use time cost model other name is PERT, P-E-R-T. Use when cost uh, trade of information is a major consideration in planning. And then determine the least cost in reducing total project time. You know, if 10 people, 10 people work for an on activity, let's say uh, uh, they uh, take like 10, 10 minutes with 10 people. If add 10 more people, 20 people work, then uh, maybe uh, the activity time reduce to like uh, five minutes. So, Adding more resource like in the personnel or workers is cost. So increase cost, then decrease the activity time, completion time. So finding the balance. That is the time cost model. So uh, usually, uh, time cost model information, normal time, NT, on normal condition with the normal size of the resource, how long it take, normal time, and then normal cost, crash time. If add uh, uh, resource more, then uh, time decrease by, that is crash time, and then crash cost to uh, add more, resource, how much cost increase? That is crash cost. So using those information, we can find the least cost uh, completion time. That is time cost model. But for uh, this class, I will not go any further. Just to stop here, just to uh, let you know uh, time cost model is like that with uh, time information, cost information, and then how can we find the uh, balance using more resource and then uh, uh, how long we can uh, uh, reduce the completion time. Okay, that's all. Okay. Um, let me, uh, next is uh, taking a uh, quiz number three. Let me check uh, who is in or not. Uh, next to, uh, next class, uh, I will go over a uh, practice problem and then uh, previous quiz question for uh, uh, quiz number four. Okay, just a moment. Uh, let me check. 
who is in, who is not. Anthony there. No Anthony. Uh, Abigail. Is Abigail there? Sorry, uh, it takes uh, time, but uh, you know what? Uh, for uh, um, give them uh, uh, if they uh, miss the uh, quiz today, then uh, to give them a chance. Um, Abigail.
Okay, almost almost done. Okay, I emailed quiz number three. If you don't uh, receive, let me know. Hey, uh, I accidentally disconnected from my Wi Fi. Uh, I'm back in on okay, my uh, uh, phone mm -hmm, mm -hmm. while it uh, reconnects. Is that cool? Okay, no problem. If I can get in. So you know uh, the routine after finish, uh, take picture or make, make a file uh, using a, a Word or a PDF, uh, upload on Moodle at the um, quiz number three, Dropbox. You have up to 30, 30 minutes. And then if you, uh, someone need uh, more time, then uh, 40 minutes. Uh, 